Hey guys, this is Nefarious411, and welcome to episode 30 of the New Frontier. I am just uh, sitting here in my base um, after a long day of putting up all of the other uh, trim and the other uh, gutters. I think this is essentially where it was before um, one of the uh, pack updates. Um, I forgot how much I like the uh, all of the uh, different trim. Adds a depth to my house that I didn't have um, before. It just seemed rather plain, but uh, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> it uh, It's actually pretty nice. Um, over here, I went ahead and created a ranged collector. Start collecting all of the eggs and the uh, feathers that those guys drop. And I have been harvesting some of my ender pearls. Um, every time I uh, harvest, there's a, a slight chance that you'll get more of these uh, ender lilies, um, basically the, uh, the seeds. Um, and I've been expanding that farm a little bit each time because I get like one or two, which is very nice. So today I'm actually going to uh, stay with the uh, calculator mod. And there's a, a couple of things that I would like to uh, get. And uh, one of those is going to be a stone separator. This guy is kind of cool because if I take a look at the uh, stone separator recipes, I can see that uh, gold, I'm able to get enriched gold. Uh, for iron, I'm able to get reinforced iron ingots, and that's just from the ore, which is pretty nice that you get uh, four of these guys. Um, and it looks like lapis will give you amethyst, which is cool. And it can actually uh, give you a little bit more with the, uh, the sticks um, on uh, a lot of the wood. So that's not terrible. So I would like to uh, create one of these. So stone separator shouldn't be too bad it's just a, a couple of power cubes um, looks like I need reinforced iron and uh, power cubes power cubes times two get those crafted and reinforced reinforced should probably do another bit of these and let's go ahead and grab our calculators out I still haven't uh, got any kind of updates on the automation of this stuff hopefully I can uh, get something soon because doing this manually just kind of sucks I would love to be able just to click on something and uh, get reinforced iron ingots out of it so I don't know if this uh, requires power it kind of looks like it because of the other uh, tooltip so uh, we should probably uh, create some power for it and that is the wrong wrench so I was planning on putting my uh, calculator stuff down here um, because this one will be like machines and stuff like that so yeah the walls don't really <laughs> tend well for um, any machines like this but that's fine um, you're going to uh, see some of the things that I had created on a previous episode um, but I do have a uh, power cell here and it's linked to number one which is over there so at least I'll have power so let's go ahead and grab some cable and run it up to this guy just like this cool and just ignore the man behind the curtain <laughs> because we'll, we'll see all the automation later once I can actually uh, get this to work uh, so if I put that in there it is extremely slow so it looks like you have the ability to add probably like speed upgrades there we go reinforced iron nice kind of wonder can I automate this well be that would require iron ore yeah I might uh, wait on that one uh, let's go ahead and grab some lapis let's go ahead and throw some lapis in here actually honestly um, Let's take a look at the uh, stone separator. Separator. Because I don't know. I guess uh, these can convert into large amethysts. So if I do an entire lapis block, it gives me one large and 
one shard. Shards can be created. It looks like this one, even though it's going to be slow, um, doing the individual lapis might actually yield uh, more output because if you think about it, this is nine of these and uh, this is nine of these. But because of these additional shards per operation, I would get nine of these shards for each one of these lapis. So that could be crafted into one more amethyst. So I think uh, doing the individual might be yielding a little bit more for us. But I'd like to uh, see, because if I look at this, I have uh, circuits. Eventually, we're going to start looking at uh, circuits, and it looks like it's nighttime. should probably sleep through the night instead of using all of my bullets. Looks like there's uh, mobs out there just waiting to get shot. <laughs> Love my turrets. All right, so here we got three. I mean, yes, it's a little bit slower, but as I was mentioning, um, I should be able to add circuits to this eventually. And uh, looks like I can add up to 16 speed circuits. Um, so if I look at calculator speed, we can see that we have a speed upgrade. But that is going to require stuff that we really don't have right now. Um... Yeah, I haven't done any of the uh, precision chambers or anything like that. That'll uh, be an upcoming episode. Um, but I would like to do something with the amethyst calculator. Um, if I take a look at the uses of these amethysts, uh, we can create amethyst saplings, which are kind of cool. That allows you to uh, essentially grow amethyst. And I might actually do that. That way I don't actually have to... Uh, convert I wonder I wonder how good that is if I do that sapling I wonder if it has anything on here because I know that the other uh, diamond sapling I have to plant this on top of that's a waste of diamond saplings <laughs> to use it in one of these recipes that uh, just use sapling. <laughs> Wouldn't want to do the uh, the more expensive one there. But I think this one actually have to plant on top of like an in stone block or in diamond block if I'm correct about it. So that m might mean that amethyst sapling would have to be on like a tanzanite block or something. I don't know, but uh, we may not do that right now. That is not the right place. But uh, one thing that I'm going to do while I'm waiting for that, um, kind of wonder for the circuits, circuits, um, if I can just go ahead and do this. Processing chamber, reassembling chamber. So I need an extraction chamber and throw a bunch of cobblestone in it and that gives me a chance precision chamber cobblestone that's not a chance extraction chamber versus precision so I wonder if I get a precision precision chamber that's going to require weakened diamonds which is dividing diamond by iron ingot yeah I can do this and that gives me four and uh, reinforced iron blocks yeah let me do that um, I think that's a, a good idea that way we can uh, start getting the other uh, circuits needed for some of these upgrades so let's go ahead and do that um, if I grab some diamonds I got 27 of them right now scientific calculator allows you to divide I only needed four, and I need four of these, is that right? Oops, I only have three. Precision chamber, yep, I need four. I got, looks like I do need an extraction chamber. Uh, so let's go ahead and create one of those. I need a, a power, so I guess it was upgradable. 
so probably doesn't hurt that I'm creating one right now. And uh, uses of this, I can craft up. I wonder what that does. Reassembly chamber, restoration chamber. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and just craft this. Um, looks like I need more of those. I don't have any reinforced stone. Um, let's just grab some that I already have and let's go ahead and divide that. Cool. And that'll be on the edges, but I will have to uh, create more reinforced stone or uh, iron. Reinforced. Looks like I have 26 of these guys. And that was this calculator? Is that right? Yeah. There we go. Recipe for that. One more. Cool. So now I should be able to do the precision chamber. Nice. All right. So let's run down here. Uh, grab that block. Throw a power cable right here. Let's see if this will actually work. So if I were to put some cobble in here. This should start extracting out in a very, very long time a uh, computer chip. Calculator chip. Nope. Um, what is that called? Circuit? Yeah, circuit. So that should pull out a circuit, but I think it's going to be the circuit zero. Ooh, damage circuit. Um, not sure what kind of circuit that is. What can I do with these small stone? CF powder, stone dust. Okay, doesn't look like there's any great uses of this. So I'm curious if I just let this run, will it give me different types of damage circuits? It does. All right wonder if I can actually extract... Oh, that's a nice animation. It's almost like a 3D printer or a hydraulic press. <laughs> that's cool. So what does it look like whenever it actually extracts? It's almost there. Go ahead and extract. Come on. Yeah. I guess it just shows that and it looks like it stops processing so that kind of stinks so I will have to be able to pull these out and if that doesn't allow me to pull it out I am not sure what to do so let's go ahead and grab a transfer node plop this guy on the top hope it actually works that's not extracting anything um, what about the bottom? Can I extract out the bottom? No? Hmm. Uh, maybe a hopper. Let's go ahead and grab a hopper and hope for the best. No. Well, oh, quit being so picky. All right. Well, let me pause it real quick. Um, see if there's a way to actually pull this out. Might have to uh, go look at the wiki again, and I will be right back. All right, I am back. And it does look like all I have to do is right-click on that with a wrench. Um, so if I were to... Take this approach. I'm kind of curious. Is it nighttime already? Holy crap. How much time did I spend looking at this? <laughs> All right, let me uh, sleep through the night and uh, maybe we'll do something with the automation that I had before because that might actually be worthwhile to uh, take a look at. Um, I don't know if how much I did on camera in uh, what I've actually published, but I know that I've done this with 
uh, the episode that I lost or didn't lose but decided to uh, scrap because of the uh, lack of automation on the docking stations um, with actually additions uh, let me actually pull that up actually additions um, it has these blocks called phantom faces and uh, with phantom faces if I uh, take a look in here uh, basically it allows you to connect inventories together and this does it um, through like a remote type fashion so if I had a phantom face connected to a machine I would have access to that machines inventory in a remote location up to 16 blocks away so what that means is I can put a, uh, a machine let's say that this is a machine right here I can have this just hovering in the air and uh, I would still be able to automate that by having a phantom face remotely piping things in, um, extracting things out from this block and it basically acts as a conduit or a bridge to that machine. So that allows me to uh, basically use multiple sides of the machine that I wouldn't want to hear like in this particular case I don't really want a bunch of pipes going in and out of this guy so I might want to have a phantom face so that I would be able to extract remotely and that's exactly what I'm going to do so in order to do that I have this uh, guy right here which is a phantom face and the other uh, recipe for that is pretty simple um, if I take a look at the recipe for the phantom face it's just a uh, block of ender pearl uh, advanced coil diamantine diamond really nothing that we haven't created already and uh, to use this first you kill all of the uh, the zombies around you <laughs> but uh, secondly um, let's go ahead and grab some space over here so that we're not completely bombarded by a bunch of blocks and I would put the phantom face right here I mean it's not the most ideal place but it'll work for us and uh, let's go ahead and smack it on the bottom with a wrench to make the red output I don't know if this is going to cause problems having power in the same place that I'm supposed to extract from but we'll actually see um, so if I were to look in my inventory for the phantom connector phantom connector we should be able to shift right click this guy and shift right click here and you can see that the connection is fine so now I should be able to see the inventory of that connected machine that is pretty cool and I'll probably be using these quite a bit moving forward so let me light up the area a little bit just so that we don't have mobs and yes this is an ugly staging area I will clean all of this stuff up later but for now I just want to uh, get this functional there we go and it's nice because I already have cables run over here um, so with this guy um, I should be able to extract off the bottom I'm hoping that this will actually work and it disappeared I saw it for a second but it disappeared is this gonna exhibit the same behavior yep I can't access my hopper oh this is doing the same thing just oops that is a bummer because that means that we won't be able to automate this guy and for the fact that he stops after every cobble that is going to be extremely obnoxious um wow I just don't know what to say about that that just really really sucks alright let, let's run that again 
Um, this is connected. Right now I can see the inventory. So if I throw this stuff in there, it's able to extract out. But as soon as this is done and there's stuff in that slot, this will go away. So let me just watch it and all of a sudden it should go away maybe. Maybe. It looks like it's still there. Oh wait, I didn't uh, extract out the bottom. That would be why. Yeah, can't can't access it anymore. <sighs> what a pain! What a pain! What a pain! Um, if I were to grab a transfer node, yes, I am running out of these. <laughs> transfer node what is the recipe for that how expensive is this eh, it's not too bad I thought this was a lot more expensive um, if I were to place this guy right here and tell this guy to pipe out the back yep transfer nodes gone well, aren't you a pain? All right. Um, <laughs> I don't want to do this manually, but it does look like I might have to for the time being. That is a big pain. Oh, it's going to be a waste of time, um, especially because of the fact that this is so slow. Um, to get a, a speed upgrade... Well, transfer upgrade. I wonder. <clears throat> transfer upgrade. What does that mean? Maybe it's supposed to work this way? I don't think so. But uh, that is a damaged circuit, but it looks like that. So maybe I'll just sit here and uh, see if I can collect some until I can get like that diamond looking one. If I can get a, a diamond looking one, um, I should be able to create a transfer upgrade. I don't think that has anything to do with like being able to or not being able to transfer out of it. Oh wait, is that it? Um, that looks kind of like it, right? No, I don't know what that is. I thought that was it. Well, what can this one be used for? Uses. No. Uses. That creates a circuit void upgrade. Okay. So it looks like I can create a void upgrade. And this guy, I can create... A whole lot of nothing. Reassembly circuit. All right, so um, instead of wasting time, let me go ahead and pause it here. Let me uh, just just sit here and uh, grab some circuits as they're coming out. See if I can get one for what I'm looking for, and I'll be right back. All right, so after troubleshooting and stuff like that, um, I have come to realize that there is actually an, a... Uh, an exception being thrown whenever you're trying to extract out of any of these calculator devices. It's actually in the uh, the sonar core. I created a uh, trouble ticket with the uh, the mod author, so hopefully uh, that can be resolved in the other uh, very near future. Um, but um, we should be able to at least uh, craft up a couple of things. So let me uh, go ahead and just convert a bunch of these shards and everything else into the amethyst. There we go. Throw that back in. And uh, let me go ahead and show you the, uh, the other machines. We already had the other uh, stone separator. And if you remember this one, this one is able to take like lapis and uh, convert that into amethyst and so on. Uh, precision chamber. This one allows you to uh, take some cobblestone. And uh, this one will be able to extract any of these uh, circuits and maybe a little bit of this uh, small stone, stone dust. 
And uh, then I went ahead and created a processing chamber. I don't know if I had this um, whenever I was recording just a while ago. Uh, processing chamber basically will take uh, one of these damaged circuits and uh, throw that guy in there and it'll be able to repair this damaged circuit. And here's another damaged circuit. So I think every time that you run the uh, precision chamber, it'll actually come out with a damaged circuit. Um, if I take a look at precision chamber, it actually has an extraction chamber. And if you uh, take a look at the extraction chamber, um, this one basically has a percentage chance of being able to give you a circuit, whereas the uh, the precision chamber, um, it's a 100% chance of getting a damaged circuit. And I think the uh, extraction chamber is um, like dirty circuits, so then you would have to uh, clean them before repairing them. But I've kind of uh, saved that process by creating the precision chamber. And the same thing with the, uh, the processing chamber. So if I take a look at the processing chamber. It actually has the reassembly chamber and the restoration chamber all in a single machine. So then it's able to clean the dirty ones and fix the damaged ones. And then we have a circuit. So then we come over here to the analyzing chamber. And that is this guy right here. Here's the other uh, recipe for it. Nothing that I haven't crafted already. And uh, basically this one, you throw in repaired circuits and it analyzes it. And that's essentially it. So um, sometimes these uh, circuits will actually have items in them, which is kind of interesting. Um, so if I repair that one, let me actually throw in more. But it's kind of unfortunate that I can't extract out of these guys because that would make things so much easier. Um, <laughs> because I would like to uh, actually automate this at some point, but we will have to uh, wait until there's an update to this mod. All right, so here's a not analyzed, and you can see that I just got broccoli seeds out of that one, and now it's analyzed. All right, so now I think I have uh, several in here uh, that are still damaged and so on. Um, <clears throat> I don't really want to store them in a chest. I would actually like to uh, create a storage chamber. So let's go ahead and run upstairs and create a storage chamber. And this is going to be reinforced iron block. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Cool. <laughs> I was afraid. Um, and a reinforced chest. Wow. That uses a lot of reinforced iron. Um, reinforced iron is... Let's go ahead and create a, a couple of stacks of this. Um, let's see. Uh, I need planks. Let's go ahead and create a bunch of these. Reinforced stone. I wonder if I can use some of these others. Ooh, it does look like I can use redwood, which is kind of cool. There we go. That's a lot, hopefully. All right, so now uh, let's use our calculator to add these two together. Oops, not that one, that one. There we go. Let's just create a bunch of these. Maybe keep one stack of the, uh, the reinforced stone, just temporarily. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the calculator mod again for this guy. There we go. Oops. Not that. Why am I converting these? <laughs> that was not what I wanted. Um, I needed three of these. There we go. Let's just throw all of this into the network. Might uh, keep those broccoli seeds out so that we can uh, actually plant those maybe. There we go. And I need, what am I missing? I need two more of these. There we go. And that is going to be the guy downstairs, this guy. Let's go ahead and throw that in. Cool, so here's a storage chamber. And I am going to place this guy, um, transporter, um, what was that uh, chest mover deal? Um, chest. I thought it was transporter. Um, transport. Uh, maybe that mod isn't in the pack anymore. Chest something. It was chest something. I know that. I think. 
Yeah, it may have been removed. Um, do we have Dolly now? Oh, we do. Okay, let's create a Dolly real quick. Um, this is a different Dolly mod. That's fine. I am okay with that. Because all I need to do is move that chest. Nice. Cool. All right. So if I throw this guy in here, you can see that it has a bunch of different slots. And this is because we need to be able to uh, take uh, like these analyzed circuits here and we can uh, throw those in and it uh, has a spot for them. And I should be able to just go ahead and do this. Any analyzed. If I try to uh, put a damage circuit in there, it won't work. Um... Yeah, these are all damaged. Here's an analyzed. Analyzed. So I should be able to throw those in there. Cool. All right, so let me go ahead and create um, a few more of these guys. Do a little bit more on the uh, repairing of these circuits, and I'll be right back. All right, so I actually found something that I was looking for, and it's um, this guy right here. It's a, a stable circuit, and if I try to put this guy in here, it won't work because these are just analyzed and not stable. So I am actually going to use a different storage chest here, and you can see that the other uh, type is stable. So now only stable circuits would be able to fit in there. And it looks like this one's glowing too, so this one's probably stable, and it is. So again, I can't throw it in this one, but I can throw it here, and that's kind of cool. Um, kind of uh, keeps them separate because um, there's actually going to be a use for the, uh, the stable circuits later, um, which we will demonstrate here in a while. Um, not in this episode, but hopefully whenever the mod actually gets repaired. I don't really want to uh, do it too much right now, but uh, I should be able to at least automate insertion. That seems to work just fine, but uh, just extraction doesn't work. And throw this guy in here. We can see that we're creating quite a few. So there's actually one more device that I would like to create real quick. It's uh, the fabricator. And that's going to be another storage chamber. <laughs> course. Um, so let's go ahead and grab some more um, reinforced stone um, planks. Let's go ahead and craft up a few more stacks of ugh, a few more stacks, two more stacks maybe? No! Um, plank. Can I do one stack? Yes, I can do a stack. Yay. <laughs> I am running out of wood. All right, so let's go ahead and craft that up. And let's go ahead and convert that into some iron with this guy um, here. Cool. And I think I needed four, one, two, or six. Six of these because I need to create a chest uh, fabricator is this guy that ooh looks like I need two more after I craft this guy up alright so here's my storage uh, but I also need yeah I thought so two more of these blocks hopefully I have enough well, I might I might and I do yay alright so let's go ahead and throw this guy down I don't know if he requires power I'm um, not entirely sure, but uh, let's see if we can create a speed upgrade. If we click on fabricate, that does not work. So I believe, let me uh, sleep through the night. Mobs are so rude. <laughs> All right, so I believe that uh, because this fabricator is uh, on, oh, it did work. Um, connected to these guys. I don't know if I want it to be connected to the stable ones, so I might actually move this one um, because I don't want it to actually use my stable circuits since they're more rare. I only want it to use these circuits and it does look like it was able to uh, craft up a speed upgrade, so I should be able to at least speed these guys up and I might insert that and you can see right here transfer zero energy zero speed one that means that these are the uh, different circuits that you can add to it so now it's going to be just a little bit faster 
not a lot. <laughs> so I should be able to at least uh, throw these in here and uh, get a little bit faster. Um, let me actually try to fabricate another one of these speed upgrades. Oh, it does. So that little green one, it's that one right there. So as soon as that fabricates and it's almost done, that will disappear just like that and now we have a speed upgrade and we can just again right click on it um, in a uh, machine and it'll speed it up um, I do have the ability to click this and it removes it so we don't lose them at least but uh, this does speed it up a little bit um, I think we can get up to 16 speed upgrades um, so quite a bit but we do need that one particular type of circuit. Uh, but we should be able to at least uh, fabricate some of these other things that we typically have to um, manually create. So this just uses some of these uh, chips and you can see whenever you click on it what the the required chipsets or circuits. Ooh, warp module, that's 50. I might look into that. But uh, let me go ahead and do a little bit more of these and I'll be right back. All right, so I have reached that wrapping up point, but before I end it off for today, I just wanted to uh, show you that uh, by putting this, uh, these circuits in here, sometimes we get things out, and I just got a uh, enriched gold pickaxe, but I also got this hunger module, and I am actually happy about that because that's one of the things that I was hoping to get to in this episode. So I am actually going to get into this. Um, so if I were to uh, create this hunger processor, um, it just takes a little bit of redstone ingots, which is dividing redstone, or dividing iron divided by redstone. Um, with uh, some of these amethysts, which is why we created that stone separator, we get this hunger processor. So let's uh, go ahead and place this guy. I don't think he requires any power, but we should be able to uh, come up here and grab a bunch of rotten flesh because we got plenty of rotten flesh. If we throw this in here, you can see that it creates what's called hunger points. Um, I think this requires a little bit of power too, if I'm not mistaken. No? Power free? So I'm hoping that this will actually work. Haven't uh, played with this particular part of the mod, uh, but if I were to put this guy in here, you can see that the hunger points are getting transferred onto this hunger module. And that was actually quite a bit of hunger points. So now um, you can see, yeah, you can see that I'm a little bit hungry. Let me run around a little bit and see if I can get a little bit more hungry. Uh, before I pick that guy up, let me run outside maybe while it's still light out. It's noon, yay! <laughs> Looks like I need to harvest some, um, but we are eating into the hunger. Um, so basically, there's a, a hunger module and there's also a health module that you can uh, use, and uh, those will. Uh, basically monitor your stats and whenever you get low it'll automatically refill it refill it for you which the hunger one um, that one's gonna be really nice I don't know if it's going to have any kind of um, impact because of the uh, the mods that are currently installed in regards to having to eat different things it's not really eating anything so I am not sure, and good lord, I need to exercise more. <laughs> it is almost there, I think. Well, it is there. All of the saturation's gone, so that should start eating into my hunger. Let me just run around the house. So this is a little tour of my base. <laughs> All right, so one of those chicken legs are gone. So let's go ahead and run in. Let's uh, grab that thing out of here. So if we take a look at it, right now it has 1,000 hunger points. As soon as I put it in my inventory, um, right click on it, I guess, to activate it. That just took two hunger points and I have full saturation and uh, full hunger now. That is nice. I don't know if I have to do this all the time. I guess we can uh, monitor it. Is there anything 
difference between right clicking and shift right clicking? I don't think so. Uh, but that is rather cool. That is really nice. So now I might be able just to uh, feed this with rotten flesh and get some hunger points onto my calculator. Nice. That just filled it back up. Looks like I have uh, 22 to spare. Uh, before we end it off for today, let's uh, real quick go down into my mine and see if I have any down there. I'm pretty sure I do. So let's uh, go check that out. It might be nice to have a large backlog because for the fact that it gives me full saturation, that is going to be very handy. I know that I could have got into the uh, Pam's Harvest Craft and all of that, but I really never got into it. Reload chunks, please. Um, maybe Minecraft doesn't want me to go to there. I wanted to go to my mob farm. Well, um, you'll just have to uh, take my word for it. Um, I basically ended up having to uh, take the uh, the flesh and compress it into the uh, compressed rotten flesh to uh, save room. And I think I have a full stack of the compressed flesh, which that equates to a lot a lot of flesh so I should be able to uh, decompress it and uh, move it up into that health um, or hunger module might take a look at the uh, health module too um, that is going to require some of these uh, tanzanite which I don't have yet um, don't think I have the amethyst but I don't have the uh, tanzanite so I might have to uh, figure out how to get that real quick. So um, I will have to uh, wrap it up for today, um, unfortunately. But uh, whenever I come back, I'm hoping that I'll have some sort of update on the automation of the uh, calculator mod and the, uh, the bug for um, pulling things out. But uh, otherwise, we might end up having to uh, start working on a different mod when we come back. So I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you can rate and comment down below, it would be greatly appreciated. And also, if you like the series, please hit that subscribe button. But for now, this is goodbye.